So a seed is anything that can become more. It is anything you have received from God that can be traded for something else. Welcome to today's DRX. The prescription is say a blessing. The anchoring scripture is Psalm 107 verse 2. And we've been looking at overflowing blessings and our role. From uh, Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. If you want to experience overflowing blessing, you need to sow uncommon seeds. Uncommon seeds. And seeds are those things that you have that you can give out, you know, to benefit others. And I'm not necessarily talking about money. I'm talking about seeds. It could be information. You know, in 2 Chronicles 1, 6, and Solomon went up there to the bronze altar before the Lord, which was at the tabernacle of meeting, and offered a thousand burnt offerings on it. Solomon just wanted God to smell, you know, his offering. Instead of one, he offered an uncommon one, 1,000. Solomon gave a thousand offering. You know what? God gave him a blank check. So a seed is anything that can become more. It is anything you have received from God that can be traded for something else. And let me say this, little things, but big things. What you sow determines what you reap. And the seed is the secret, in fact, one of the secrets to overflowing blessing. In Zechariah 8:12, the Bible says, the seed shall be prosperous. The seed. So which means no prosperity is impossible without the seed. No prosperity is possible without the seed. And when we talk about prosperity, it's all encompassing your health, your relationship, you know, financial life, social life, academics, intellectual, spiritual, that is all encompassing. And it's the ability to have options. In 2 Chronicles 1, 7, on that night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, ask, what shall I give you? 2 Chronicles 1, 11 to 12, Then God said to Solomon, Because this was in your heart, and you have not asked riches or wealth or honor or the life of your enemies, nor have you asked long life, but have asked wisdom and knowledge for yourself, that you may judge my people over who have made you king. Wisdom and knowledge are granted to you, and I will give you riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had who were before you, nor shall any after you have the like. In 1 Kings 4.29, And God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding and largeness of heart, like the sand on the seashore. He experienced overflowing blessing. I want you to say a blessing too, uh, based on Philippians 4.19. Say with me, and my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you. Start sowing seed.